Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell, is finally my decorate with me. I am so excited to decorate for fall. I'm so ready to be done with this hot weather. We have had like a hundred plus degree days for what feels like months. But anyway, I'm ready for the cooler weather. Who else is with me? So to start with, I am just going to try to light this candle, which I'm not going to lie, I had a bit of trouble getting lit. I couldn't find like the long lighter, so I was using this smaller one and I kept burning my fingers. But anyway, I got the job done. I got the candle lit. It was a brand new fresh candle, so it always takes a little bit longer for the wick to like catch a flame. But anyway, it worked out and this candle smells so good. Caramel pumpkin swirl. It's delicious delicious and it just perfectly set the mood for the decorating. So I laid out everything that I had and most of this stuff here you would have already seen if you watched my haul video. I won't talk about where everything is from again because I already did that in another video and I don't want to you know bore the people that saw that but if you haven't seen that video I'll leave it linked down below for you so you can check it out but pretty much everything that you see here I did mention in that video except the only things I think here that aren't in that video are these really large pumpkins. I think there's like four or five of them, the larger ones, and I just picked those up at Walmart. So I just laid out everything that I had so I could kind of see what I was working with. I really didn't have a game plan. I just kind of picked up what I really liked and what I thought I could use. So I just kind of, as you'll see, I just kind of put things together. I kind of switched things around, but I laid it all out here so I could have a clean idea of what everything was. And I've got two um, different color schemes here. As you can see, I've got like the traditional orange, yellows, reds. And then I've also got much more neutral tones, which are the plaid and the, you know, the plaid decorations there with the whites. So I'm going to do two separate areas in my house to try to use both of the color schemes. But I really like the neutral stuff is definitely much more me. But because it is my first time decorating for fall here, I really wanted to incorporate traditional colors. So that's what I did. And then I start off in my favorite place to decorate, which is the entryway table. I love decorating this. It's just so fun. You can change it up from time to time. But as you can see, I usually keep it fairly neutral and easygoing. Uh, so I just start by taking everything off that, giving it a wipe down, getting it all ready to kind of see what I want to display here. And I thought I had a lot of the um, traditional colors so I decided that I this would definitely be where I did a lot of the orange yellows reds greens that kind of thing So I start by first laying out the table runner that I had picked up and it just has some autumn leaves on it. It's fairly easy going but then once I put all the color on top of it, it really worked very well. And I thought it was just such a great touch to add a table runner to an entryway table just for something a little bit different. As I mentioned in my haul video, this tray that I've just laid down, I really I'm so obsessed with this tray. It's awesome quality. I got it for 40% off at Hobby Lobby. It was in the four collection but I definitely will use this tray all year round it's just really really nice so I start by just laying out a few things and kind of seeing where I'm going I decided that I wanted to do in the tray kind of like a little pumpkin patch type thing that's what I was going for so I put the pickup truck in there that had all the harvest in the back of the trunk and then I added the some pumpkins to it and some acorns that came in a pack and then I also had these loose leaves which I just kind of placed all the way around. I'll show you guys a close up of everything as well so you can really see how everything came together. But I just kind of played around with that for a little while just trying to get everything in place and see how it looked and I really did like the way that it turned out. I thought it turned out great. I haven't seen anybody do something like this before with the truck and the pumpkins but I just thought it was really cute. I'm sure that it's been done many times, but anyway, I just thought it turned out really cute. And then I picked up this little tiny hay bale, I guess it's called. And as soon as I opened it up, man, it went everywhere. So FYI, if you have a hay bale and you haven't opened one up before, get ready because it's going to flake everywhere. And then I had these little scarecrows and I thought they would be really cute to stick in there. The sticks were too long. So as you just saw, I just cut the sticks a little bit shorter so I could stick those in there. And that turned out so cute. So what I was 
trying to go with here was keeping a lot of different textures. The pumpkins that I have in there are different textured pumpkins and then the leaves have different textures and I also want it different heights. I just think it's really nice when you mix check textures and add different types of heights. It just kind of completes the space and pulls it all together. So the flower, I already had that little vase. You probably saw that was on the entryway table at the beginning. So I just changed out the flowers that I had in there and put some more fall kind of looking flowers and pumpkins in there which added some height and then I also added that three tier pumpkin but I decided I wanted to put a can it on a candlestick to give it even more height and then actually later on you won't see it in this video but later that night I ended up changing it out that was the smallest tiered candlestick I ended up changing it out for the medium sized candlestick to add even a little bit more height <music> up this barrel which I thought would be really cute to put like some pumpkins in and have it kind of like a pumpkin patch where you pick your own pumpkins so I just as you can see there's some tissue paper in the bottom of it which I left in because I didn't have like enough pumpkins to fill the whole thing but I thought if I just had the tissue paper in the bottom then it would kind of lift it up and then it still wasn't enough so I just like pretty much blew up a a plastic bag tied it in a knot and then put that underneath with the tissue paper on top it's a great way to make something look full if you don't have enough things to completely fill it and then I just put these larger pumpkins in there and I just arranged those around these are the larger ones that I didn't have in my haul video the ones that I got from Walmart and they were really affordable they were like just under six dollars a pumpkin so that's a really good price for such big pumpkins even at um hobby lobby with the 40 percent off discount the larger pumpkins still didn't come down that cheap so i got those two little ones as well from walmart i put all those in there and then there's this little sign which i think i grabbed right now which i put out and this little sign actually says pumpkin patch pick your own pumpkins which i just thought was perfect to kind of go with that whole theme and i just kind of play around with it a little bit to think i was thinking should i hang it on the barrel itself and then i thought oh i'll just like sit it down beside it because that seemed a little bit easier and plus that worked out just fine anyway and then just after this i go ahead and i decided to put a few little extra pumpkins in the little lantern that i had i decided to keep that lantern there because I didn't really have anything else that I could think of that I wanted to put there and I thought I'd come back to that spot but once I put the pumpkins in there and then some of those leaves I thought it looked pretty cute anyway and then I put that little pumpkin um, wooden sign next to it and then I just thought I would show you guys the before because I love the instant gratification of seeing before and afters so this is the before where this is how I had it decorated before as you would have seen in the beginning of the video and then this is the after and I am so so happy with how it turned out I just think it looks so festive and fun and colorful but it's still kind of got those neutral colors in it with the pops of orange and red and yellow and I just think it looks so great on this entryway and it really brightens up our hallway as you walk into the house so I think it worked out really well and like I said before, I'll show you guys a bit of a close up of how everything really came together.
and then moving into the kitchen and I don't know what happened this is the second time this has happened to me but I must have thought I had hit the record button and I didn't so I had already started playing with this two-tier stand and putting stuff in it didn't I didn't really miss too much though all I did was exactly what I'm doing right now just kind of fiddling around and putting a few things in and seeing what fits and what I like and what I don't like and I mean that's the fun with decorating it's nothing set in stone you can just do something if it doesn't work out you just try something else if you don't like it you can just change it up but I really do think that this turned out so cute this is probably one of my favorite things that I did. I love the color scheme of this. I love plaid. I'm a sucker for plaid. If you're new here, you probably don't know that, but if you've been around for a while, you've probably heard me talk about it a few times. And I just thought the way this came together was so cute and simple. And I think it looks really great in our kitchen. So I'm going to leave this on our island in the kitchen. And um, we are actually about to contact paper our countertops. We do live in military housing, so we can't do a whole lot here, but um, we can contact like get contact paper and put it over the countertops so hopefully my husband will be able to help me with that this weekend I think that the way that this is decorated will just look really really nice against the countertop um, contact paper that we picked out and once again I just added different textures sizes a variation of things and just kind of added to it until I was done then you'll see the finished result the only thing that I did end up coming back and adding to this was one more extra pumpkin on the bottom tier below the blessed sign. I didn't like that you could see the back of the sign so much and you'll be able to see it here as I turn like right there where my hand is. So I ended up going in and adding a third pumpkin just there so it kind of sat behind the house and covered up the back of that blessed sign. But I just think this turned out so cute and I love to change this around. You know, you can put fruit in here, you can do it on a coffee bar. Two tier stands are just such a great fun way to add some decor to your home and they're actually really inexpensive to decorate because everything that you place on them is so small that you can usually pick them up fairly affordably so they're just a fun thing to decorate especially if you want to decorate but don't want to go all out I definitely recommend getting a two-tier stand and you can sit it on your bench top in your kitchen you can put it on your dining table you can put it on an entryway you can put it in the bathroom two-tier stands I feel like the possibilities are endless with what you can do with this and I just really really love the way that it turned out and by the way that candle burning there oh my gosh it smells so great I have such a tough time in our house when I burn a essential oils and cut and getting the smell to kind of stay in the home just because our house is such an open planned space that it takes a lot to actually have a smell kind of stick around and really you can really smell it but these candles they always do it for me they're so great and they burn so strong and it's just really great for such an open spaced area <laughs> video you may have seen me and my husband Andrew we DIY'd this um, decor that's on the wall here with the mason jars and the window panel and I just decided I would just change out the flowers that I had in there to some autumn kind of colored scheme flowers which was really easy to do and such an effective way to just really simply change up the space and we have twinkle lights in there but after I changed the flowers in the mason jars or the leaves in the mason jars I kind of started to feel like I wanted to do something with the wreath so let me know down below I had intentionally planned to leave it and just change the mason jars but now that I look at it I feel like maybe it needs something else added to it we did add that little thankful sign which definitely like lifted it up a bit but I just I don't know this is the before and then the after let me know what you guys think down below. Should I change that reef out? Should I make it a little bit more fall inspired or should I just leave it as is? I don't know. It's probably fine, but I don't know. Once I get started decorating, I just have so many more things that I would love to do. And this is another area of the house where I think I'm going to try to pick up a few more things. I don't have anything to go on our dining table and I don't want to do a whole dining table setting just because 
we use our dining table breakfast lunch and dinner every single day so it doesn't make sense to kind of set it up and then have to take that out off for every single meal but I would like to get maybe like some kind of round tray or something and then put maybe like a candle or some decor on that just to tie in that area and then I had these signs these are the signs and I didn't really know what I was going to do with them but I decided to hang them on the doors so this one I hung on our pantry door this is just with some twine that I had and then I hung the other one on the door in our entryway which is kind of opposite to where the entryway table was that we decorated just before and I think they look really nice there and they just add a little extra something to the walkway as you walk through and then this is see what I mean I don't know if I want to add something to that or not I don't know let me know and then I didn't really do a whole lot with the blanket ladder I just changed out one blanket I had thought about getting a different blanket but the red plaid one that I already have out pretty much all year round because it's one of my favorite blankets it's already like goes with the whole theme so I didn't feel the need to change it so I just added that nice white crocheted blanket that my grandmother actually made for me and then I just put a little pumpkin hanging on top of it and then just to keep it really simple but add a little something to the tv I just added a few pumpkins really easy these are the pumpkins that the kids always go to and they play with and I'm fine with that these pumpkins I think were from the dollar store I think all of these pumpkins were from the dollar store and they're they can't break or anything they're just like foam they're not going to break on them and the kids like to play with them and I'm okay with that this is the end result and that's all I did for today like I said I do want to update the dining table with something and I do want to get some new four cushions they're the only two things that I really want to get that I haven't gotten yet but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it I hope that it motivated you and helped get you in the fall spirit because I'm so ready for that cooler weather let me know down below what you thought of this video and like always I hope that you have a great day and you make it count I'll see you in my next one bye